Hey, Arza Fatima and Yoska222, thanks for the idea to this video. I'm going to show you how this little ring light smartphone setup of mine is put together and how I put it to use. Also, and this is especially for you Arzu, I'm going to try to get the most extreme close-up shot with this setup possible. And I'm still trying to figure out the best way to mirror back and forth between Android and iOS. So Arzu, I haven't forgotten the second part of your question. But as for now, let's go do this. <music> I'm using my Galaxy S7 Edge of course, and as a cover I'm using the Samsung lens cover, but you could pretty much use any cover there is. Only thing you have to do is apply some 3M dual lock to the back of it. You'll see why in a moment. Then you're gonna need a second device. In this case I'm using my Nexus 7 tablet. It's rather old, it doesn't have the newest Wi-Fi tech in it, but it's a trusted companion and it'll do just fine for what I'm preparing to show you. Then I'm using two custom monopods. These are actually the bases of a mic stand. They are very heavy. These are two Joby Gorillapod ball head X's, both of which are an integral part in making this setup versatile. The first one gets to simple smartphone holder. It's a generic one that pretty much does its job all right. Now the second monopod will get this tablet holder. Then for lighting I'm using this ring light that is actually meant to be used with DSLR lenses but with a little help of 3M dual lock you can attach it to the back of the smartphone case. As a microphone, I'm using the Rode VideoMic ME. Now on the software side of things, you're gonna need two different apps. Your main shooting device has to run something called Mirror. So hit up the Google Play Store, and this is the one we want. Screen recording and Mirror. Install, accept. Now the other device you want the shooting device's screen mirror to has to run an app called AllCast Receiver. So again, hit up the Google Play Store and search for AllCast Receiver. And this is what we want, the AllCast Receiver. Install, accept. Okay, so now we have the right apps installed on both devices. Now before we proceed, let's put them on the monopods. Now open AllCast Receiver and open Screen Recording and Mirror. Scroll down and as you can see, it has already recognized the Nexus 7 as a possible device to mirror the screen to. Now you can upgrade Mirror. I say no thanks, it's not a problem. Mirror will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. You don't have to show this again, just hit Start Now. And as you can see, we have this device's screen mirrored to this device. Now leave Mirror and hit up the camera app. Now as you can see, there is some lag to this, but for what we're using the setup, the lag isn't a problem. Because all we're gonna use this external monitor for is just to check framing and see what's what. So the little lag, although it's there, for what we're trying to do right now, it's not a problem at all and the setup's still workable. So let's complete the setup by applying the ring light. Now there's only one simple trick to this. You have to apply 3M dual lock to both the back of the smartphone case and the back of the ring light. This way you can simply put it on the smartphone and use it from there. In the case of this ring light, it comes with the option to use both 3500K or 5500K lighting. What you're gonna use pretty much depends on your skin tone and what looks best for you on camera. Now all you gotta do is turn it on, go into light mode, and then you can pretty much set it to as much or as little light you want by the push of a button. Now, you can get astonishingly close to the S7 Edge rear camera. I mean, you can get so close, your face will almost hit the ring light. Which of course is great if you want to show extreme detail. And if you're shooting also 4K, which I would recommend, you can even crop into a full HD image, which will get you even closer. This is obviously great to show detail work, but there is a problem. Because your face is so close to the camera, there's not enough space left between between you and it so you're able to apply makeup but there's something you can do about it which is applying this little teleconverter that comes with the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge lens cover kit it has a little screw mount so applying it is super easy just screw it onto the back of the Samsung lens cover now what this will allow you to do is get more space in between yourself and the camera now you can apply makeup or do whatever it is you want to do and simultaneously check the external monitor to make sure you're doing what you intend to do same rule as before applies if you're also shooting 4k you have the option to crop into a full hd image which will get you even closer and still you're able to apply makeup do whatever it is you want to do and simultaneously check yourself in the external monitor now when using the teleconverter unfortunately the close limit has been extended so you cannot get as close to the s7 edge as before when using only its rear camera because the camera won't be able to focus so this is about the distance you will need to have when using the teleconverter for the s7 edge to be able to focus on your face 
Then again, the obvious benefit to using the teleconverter was to get more space in between yourself and the camera so you can apply makeup and work with it. So if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. In any case, as always, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.